Do you want an extraordinary career? I'm going to be open with you. This will be tough for some of you to hear and motivating for others. To find out which, I'll need to ask you a few questions. That way you can determine if you should watch the rest of the video. One, do you want to work in tech? Two, do you believe you have something special inside you? Maybe you feel you have something special inside you, but you, but you just haven't been able to tap into it because you haven't found the right opportunity or the right person to help you, or maybe even the right passion or path to pour yourself into. It's okay. If you're still watching this video, it means that you want more out of your career. You want to be more than a toll booth attendant. If you think about it, you can get an easy job anywhere. If you're working nights, you can get a day shift job somewhere. You know, if you look around hard enough, you can even find a high paying job. And I'm pretty sure you could probably find a job where you're the boss. You know, I have no doubt about it. But you want more. How do I know? Because in your spare time or on breaks at work, you choose to read about robotics, programming, you know, techie stuff. Now, I know that learning tech isn't easy. As a matter of fact, it takes serious commitment, a lifetime, and a certain degree of above average intelligence to become competent. But I hope you're not entering the automation career field for mercenary reasons, you know, just for the money. Or that maybe you don't have enough going on at home, so you just figure, eh, I'll travel for work. Because I want you to know this up front. Desire alone won't cut it in this career field. It takes guts, perseverance, and professionalism. A certain mix of tenacity and curiosity as well to achieve any level of success. And it doesn't just end someday. There is no finish line. Instead, the challenges come more frequently and grow in complexity as time goes by. But if you really want this career, you're going to have to be okay with the fact that because you're going to have to be okay with that fact because you're going to have to pay your dues and earn your skill. You'll need to be the type of person who is comfortable stepping up and leading when the easy path would be to sit back quietly and follow the pack. You'll have to be okay with staying late into the night to finish a project, working from home on weekends, and to always be digging to a training course or technical documents to learn and figure things out. And believe it or not, you won't be able to stop there. You may be expected to volunteer to travel out of state for a few days on a moment's notice, or a few weeks, or even a month if the project calls for it. Of course you'll have pangs of guilt for leaving your family, but it's the job. Well, ah, no, it's your career. You will need to be a professional. You can't be one of the cold, timid souls who choose the easy job. You may need to work with cutting edge tech like camera system, lasers, you know, complex wireless devices, scanners, huge automated machinery, and rows of network robots. So much more. You'll need to become a skilled professional. You'll have to be special because this isn't a job someone can just learn in a few days. Instead, you must commit your life to constantly learn, constantly push yourself to always be trying to prove to yourself that you can do it. You must want to be part of something bigger than yourself because you may work on multi-million dollar equipment for billion dollar companies who see you as the expert who will solve their problems. You'll need to be a planner and attend meetings where you will sit at the table with decision makers, Ivy League graduates, Brilliant MacGyver-like engineers and technicians, specialists, and supporting staff. You must be able to scoot up to the table during those meetings with a straight back, a pen in your hand, and intelligently contribute to the conversation. You have to be a professional. Ultimately, whatever your reason for joining this career, you must have the desire to work harder and strive to become one of the smartest, most skilled, highest performing, and best paid professionals in the room. 
to separate you from the crowd. You know, in this career, you may have to work in uncomfortable environments. You may work with people who speak a different language, where tact and patience are critical. You know, you may work at times with uh, stressful expectations, wearing many hats, and you may be at the clients leading a project alone. You may need to be resourceful, flexible, and have some ingenuity at problem solving. You must be able to create solutions, and then at times you're going to have to sell your ideas. You may have to persuade objectors, scrounge for resources, and sometimes even work with difficult people. You're going to have to recognize the high stakes involved with your decisions and how they affect the goal. You know, this, requ this career requires good health, a never-die attitude, and the ability to blend into, your, into the team environment by being efficient and highly dependable. In the end, it's these challenges that create a memorable career, a career of challenge filled with unique, sometimes once-in-a-lifetime experiences. And you can choose this career, a career in automation. You know, if that weren't enough, you must understand that you will never com feel complete. You won't ever know it all, and you won't ever create a perfect project. In addition, you're never going to uh, be good enough to earn the maximum dollar for your work. But stick with me. This is where the good stuff comes in. If you make the commitment, you could enjoy extraordinary experiences. You can have the chance to travel the world, to see all four corners of your country or some far off land. Or you could walk down an ancient city street or have dinner in the plaza of a romantic restaurant in an exotic city. Maybe you'll get to work in a 150-year-old company in their globally recognized and iconic building on a production line producing components for, I don't know, the International Space Station. You might get to fly in histor to an historical country near an ocean you've only read about until now. Or you could get to lead a project on a $100 million machine. There may be times when you get to admire the incredible view from the hotel balcony overlooking a stunning city of lights. You may find yourself on a team of incredibly smart and high-performing co-workers. Or you may be the project manager who authorizes spending of $500,000. The possibilities are endless. The tech is always changing. The opportunities are boundless. A life in the automation field is unlike many others. By sheer willpower, you can choose to change your life. You can literally build an extraordinary life for yourself. You don't have to have a degree. It helps, though. And you don't have to have prerequisites to begin. You just need to make a commitment to the career. Within this career, you may specialize in one discipline like program, or you may generalize your skill sets and work with teams that network computer systems, program processes, wire machines, design layouts, assemble equipment, or plan and lead projects. You, my friend, can be a force multiplier, a professional worth many times their cost. Someone who may travel the world is ready to lead multi-million dollar projects, skilled enough to work on cutting edge tech, and worth every bit of six-figure plus income. In short, you need to be someone who deserves to lead an extraordinary life, one beyond your wildest dreams as a kid and bigger than your grandest ambitions as an adult. You, my friend, need to aspire to be a professional, someone who wants to be one of the smartest, most skilled, highest performing, and best paid professionals in the room and logic workshops can help you achieve everything you want and so much more stay tuned to our channel for more exciting inspirational videos like this one and a whole host of technical resources to help you achieve the an extraordinary career till next time this is paul with logics workshops take care my friends